It's five minutes till showtime. out to the drive-in? Why not take the kiddies along and save the expense of a sitter? Everyone enjoys the drive-in. New Good Luck Margarine gives you both preferred unsaturates and preferred flavors. Preferred unsaturates for those concerned about the family diet, plus delicious flavor your whole family will prefer. Preferred unsaturates and preferred flavors. New Good Luck Margarine gives you both at no extra cost. It's four minutes till showtime. Mm -hmm. Change the song. Oh shit, here we go. Later, sucker. Mm, what a hamburger. At our refreshment stand, your wish is our command. So the coffee we serve there is pure perfection. Just three minutes away from the start of our next feature. Still time to visit our refreshment stand. All aboard! The snack bar special for Coca-Cola, peanuts, hot dogs, ice cream, candy. That's the snack bar special for Coca-Cola, peanuts. Whatever your choice from the snack bar, things go better with Coke. This is Mrs. Charles Jackson having after-dinner coffee at Allen Carpet. We enjoy doing business this way. No, no, Mrs. Jackson, you sit right there and we'll bring the carpets to you. Yes, these are the carpets we buy by the mile. So you can save on every yard. Mint. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Have coffee with us and get a real carpet buy starting at only $3.88 a square yard. Sure, you save it out on carpet, but we like to feel we do a little more for you. It's refreshment time, folks. Taste that beats the others cold. Mm, what a hamburger. Pours it on. Taste that beats the others cold. Pepsi pours it on. We're now just one minute away from the beginning of our next feature. Back off, bitches. I'm friends with Tony Hawk, and I can do this. <laughs> what happens when you breathe on a mirror? And 
now, ladies and gentlemen, time for the show. Once again, thank you for coming to our theater tonight. Have an enjoyable evening. The refreshment stand will remain open for a short time. Still plenty of time to get a snack or cold drink. We'll make an announcement before the stand closes to give you plenty of time to get that last-minute treat. Good uh, noon time, everyone. Let me start our aggressive jazz <laughs> for a second. Hey, everybody. How you doing today on this, uh, what's today? Thursday? This lovely coin game Thursday? I'd like to thank Name Here, a VOD watcher who donated off stream. Thank you for the $10. They say, VOD watcher, thanks for all the chill streams. It makes the end of my day relaxing. I was wondering if you uh, would be down to stream some Jedi Academy. Appreciate all you do and have a good day, Ian. Could you uh, say hi to my cat, Coco? She loves your vids. Hi, Coco. Thank you very much. Name here. Some people might remember I streamed. I streamed Jedi Academy once or twice. Like a, a while ago. Coloring Book Dog, thank you for the 36 months. Complex Carbs, thank you for the prime sub. Joy Malie, thank you so much for the 21 months. Hey, buddy, old pal. Hey there, Joy. What have you guys been up to? Thank you so much for watching my, uh, my latest video. I worked very hard on it. I'm very happy with it. Yeah, it's po it's possible the audio is slightly delayed. AKA Buttons, thank you for the three months. Happy Wednesday, y'all. Unlabeled VHS, thank you for the 11 months. Opossum Plays, thank you for the 22 months. Inuiri, thank you for the two months. Little Green Witch, thanks for the 19 months. Yay, 19 months. I'm sick, my cat is sick, but I'm happy to listen to you stream while I work. Hope everyone is doing well. And convenience store, Banana. Thank you so much, little green witch. Hope you and your cat feel better. Let me get the coin game started here in a second. I think my latest video was completely hinged. I think it was uh, one of the sanest videos I've put out in a long time. Mm -hmm. Happy birthday, fly guess. Uh, MJ is is with us today. I mean, she's she's not paying attention, but she is in her uh, snoozing over here in her little bed. Swordzo two, thank you for the two months excited for coin game from my favorite streamer slash youtuber thank you so very much thor obliterator thank you for the 37 months who would win in a fight floor cheese or crotch corn i i don't know i have a hard time imagining them fighting i feel like they they probably get along quite well ofi one thank you for the three months hey ian Next time you go to a Nordstrom, they will shine your shoes for free instead of $60. Thank you so much, Obi-Wan. Kytus, hi. Thank you for the 58 months. Ty Glorious, thank you for the prime sub. Lupinion, thank you very much for the 13 months. Oh, man, can't believe it's Thursday. Coin game, th coin game Thursday, what a treat. When I was so silly and thought it was Wednesday. I will be here while I work. Thank you so much, Lupin. It's easy to get the days confused, you know? Barefoot, thank you for the prime sub. Soft crisps, thank you for the 43 months. Uh, I liked the snipe at your fans in the latest video. I did take a little, I did take a little shot at the fans there. It was fun. <laughs> Ewat Sonia, thank you for the 51 months. Good to see ya. Farrick Maiden, thank you for the five months. Lizzie Dove, thank you for the the prime sub. And Lex613, thank you for the 71 months. I'm so happy to see you. I've been sick all week, and getting to watch your stream makes it more bearable. Thank you. I hope you feel better soon, Lex. Got some uh, 
some sick viewers this stream. Alley Cat 31 thank you for the 28 months. Hi, Ian. Happy to see you play some good old coin game while I work. Hope all is well. All is pretty well. Extra sassy moose in the new video. I like being extra sassy moose. Maybe, maybe get prepared for more of that. <laughs> okay. I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna drop into a, a regular game as I, as I, uh, as I do. No, uh, no special rules. Yeah, I'm doing the birthday. Birthday mode. How's the audio? Can you guys hear the game audio and the jazz audio all right? Liked my turntable usage. I really enjoyed uh, blue screening out a table just to put a picture of a table <laughs> under the food. I liked doing that. Okay, thanks guys. If it's uh if it's too quiet or too loud, just let me know. Mm, what a hamburger. Sploopius Maximus. Thank you for the four months. Hi Ian. Happy Thursday and hope you're doing well. Looking forward to some good old coin game. Blue screen or green screen, pick your flavor. I like blue. I use the blue screen most of the time. I have a green screen for when I like have a product shot and the box has a lot of blue or something. Uh, but I, I tend to stick with the blue screen. Ian, it is Wednesday. I don't think so. I don't think so. Why no red screen? If you're asking, I think it's because like my skin pigment has red in it. Uh, so you would like, you would get the warm like skin colors kind of taken out. I, I'm assuming that's why they don't do a uh, red screen. Okay, let's, let's do a big bass wheeling to start the day here. <laughs> red screen when you're filming reptiles. Is that true? That's cool. No? <laughs> I'd believe it, though. Clearly, I, uh, I believed it right off the bat. I mean, it would make sense. It would make sense because reptiles got that green and, and some, some blue tones going on. It's... I mean, I guess it would depend on the reptile, but, uh... Don't remember my sass. I called. I said everyone was single. I said all of my my regular viewers would enjoy the single pizza because they're all single. <laughs> Can't believe someone lied on the internet. I bought it. I'm gonna start telling people that. I'm gonna start telling. Holy shit. Okay, these, these sound effects are too loud for me. Yeah, I'm just going to tell people that they use red screens on, uh, on reptiles. I think that's a great lie. <laughs> Married bros have to show up and flex. Oh, man. I've been working on some... Uh, some stream stuff. I know I disappeared for a little bit while I was uh, finishing up editing that video, but I have been cooking some stream stuff that I'm pretty excited about. Okay, coin game's not too loud for you guys, right? Sounds all right. Does it involve spinning a wheel? You know, it usually does. 
a tiny bit loud? Awesome. I'll turn it down a little bit because <laughs> it's a little bit loud for me. I just turn it down a smidge, just a smidge. I think I'm gonna go to an arcade soon. It's been so long. I wanna go play some, uh, some Wizard of Oz coin push. Gonna make another video? Probably. Probably. I say most of, the, most of the time when I'm at an arcade, I do make a video about it. Oh! More of a smidge. Is it still loud? Is that what you guys are saying? As loud as the moon for me. I don't even know what that means. Is that a saying? Mm, what a hamburger. See how that is. Mm, what a hamburger. Is that a... Yeah, is loud than is louder than the moon? Does that mean it's loud or it's quiet? I actually don't. I've never heard the moon. So No atmosphere on the moon. That's, you know. <laughs> you guys are thank you for your help. <laughs> Thank you for your help. <laughs> well, what have you guys been up to? I've been gone for like a week or something. What's, I have seriously just been locked up editing the video. Yesterday, I, uh, I mounted the TV onto the wall, which I've been putting off for a while. I only got slightly injured, uh, which I, I say is pretty good, honestly. <laughs> Playing lots of RuneScape. Man, I haven't been playing RuneScape as much as I was. I think I'm getting close to the end of Dot Hack Infection, though. I think I'm, like, right at the end. I love the Christmas shop. It's still a little... Oh, I took down my Christmas decorations, finally? Uh, I did that, like, right after I finished uh, uploading that video. Is the story good? I like the story of Dot... I'm biased towards Dot Hack. I don't know how to... I don't think I can fairly judge Dot Hack. I love everything Dot Hack related. Um, it's definitely slow. But I like these stories where the internet is like this new, exciting thing. Uh, they're like, holy shit, you can play a game online? I love that. Great. Any good shows I've watched? What did I watch? I just finished. I just finished my Veep watch through. My twenty fifth uh, Veep watch through. I'm watching a lot of. Uh, I've been trying to work on my clamshell uh, VHS collection, so I have been watching a lot of those because I've been acquiring a lot of those. Oh. I just watched a knockoff Lion King movie called uh, Leo the Lion King of the Jungle <laughs> last night. Uh, pretty hilarious. Watching Veep for the first time. I hope you like it. Veep's one of those shows that's hard to recommend to people because it's, uh, it's about politics. And that's uh, off-putting, I think, for uh, a lot of people. But, oh my god, it's so good. Where did my bike go?
Leo the Lion came before Lion King? That's pretty cool, actually. I think someone stole my bike. Can I check the map? Is that something I can do on this? Oh, it says it's there. Do robots eat bikes? Great question. What? Where? I've been uh, playing GameCube Animal Crossing a lot too lately. I just had the raffle. I won a robot stereo and I won uh, Donkey Kong Jr. Math. I also do not see the bike at all. Bike is gone. Which is kind of a shame because that is how I tend to get around. I'm just going to start a new one. I need the bike. I have to. I can't not have the bike. Oh, is there a reset bike button? Okay, sorry. I'll do that next time. Maybe I'll do a uh, maybe I'll do an Animal Crossing stream sometime and show off my uh, my village. I've got a pretty decent village. I got a lot of uggos, but I got some some keepers as well. Thick baloney. Thank you for the four months. The the empty. Thank you for the sixteen months. Zerk four thousand one hundred twelve. Thank you for the prime sub. Carp laser. Thank you for the two months. Ben meatloaf. Thank you for the twenty nine months. Archaic realm. Thank you for two months. Uh, that's so Tris. Thank you for the four months. Skeleton, skeleton counter. Thank you for the three months. And fearsome juniper. Thank you for fifteen months. Thanks so much, guys. I'm not playing it on an, an actual GameCube. Uh, I'm actually playing. I'm playing Animal Crossing on my Steam Deck. It's my uh, go to sleep game. I get cozy in bed. I play. I don't know, 30, 45 minutes of Animal Crossing and I just pass out. It's pretty nice. Mm -hmm. I don't have Bob. My best villagers are, I got Stella. I always liked Stella. I've got Monique. Oh shit. I got hit by a car. Those are like my only two. I really want static. I will play this game until I get static in this village because I have not had static as a villager since uh, I was a child. I did a stream with Luke yesterday where I watched him play the new SpongeBob uh, Cosmic Shake game, which seemed to be pretty good. Do I have New Horizons? Yeah, I played, what, like 500 hours of New Horizons? I think it's pretty good. Not my favorite Animal Crossing, but I mean, I put so much time in it. I can't say that it's bad. I saw you there, Lupin. Thanks for everybody that came out uh, to watch me hang out with Luke. Luke and I are going to be doing a lot of stuff together this year, so get used to seeing him. Have I played? I have not like played. A game of Lucky Hit? Oh my god! Don't hear that alert super often. Electric Kelly, thank you for the seven dollars and change. How about a return to your first love, the Shinmu? Would be pretty fun. Uh, I could do a much more thorough. I could do a much more thorough Shinmu this time around, and I could maybe record it and potentially make some sort of video. I'd love to do a Shinmu video at some point. But like you have to, I'm gonna have to record so much footage, you know? Mm. 
Yeah. Mm -hmm. One of my favorites. Uh, on here and just in real life, pick your treasure. I'm glad you liked the uh, Luke and Ian Hello Fresh collab. That was a lot of fun. Luke did a great job. Ooh. It was fun to do another, uh, like, a HelloFresh song. Go outside and get some sunlight on my pale skin. No. I got a window kind of open-ish. I'll just take some, uh, I'll just take some vitamin D, you know? Yeah, there's a window in here. Does it not look like... I guess it doesn't look like there's a window in here. Shit. Blue is next. Okay, I'll let you guys... Let's do blue. The Bunbury seems uh, convinced that blue is next. Have you guys seen these... Uh, this... Uh... Oh, okay. Pick, pick the next one, Bunbury. Keep it going. Keep this white. Okay, keep it going. You guys uh, see this uh, animal, or not animal crossing, animorph uh, Twitter thread going around talking about all the books. It really makes me want to reread animorphs again. Well, you had a good run, Bunbury. You had a good run. Someone just went through and listed, like, all the crazy shit that happens in e each book. Mm -hmm. So disturbing and unexpected. Those books were, uh... Yeah, they were freaky. I remember trying to read them again in college, and, and for as freaky as the content and the way, the way they were written, were, I was like, this is... My brain needs more stimulation than this. But maybe I can, you know, maybe I'll listen to an audio book or something. I'm getting more into like audiobooks and podcasts. I was listening to uh, the Workaholics podcast a lot while I was editing this last video. Focusing. Hold on. Whoa! <laughs> okay. All right. All right. Rigged. Rigged. Listening to a sports podcast. Sports podcast could be fun. Oh my god, I need to pay out my fantasy league. I have not paid out fi uh, Final Fantasy football money. I'm gonna stream the coin game for your actual birthday. That'll be fun. I don't think I've done that. I always do, um... I always stream Fatty Bear. Oh, whoops. Oh yeah, I saw that Tom Brady retired again. I wonder if this one will stick. How'd I do in my fantasy football league? Terrible. I got like sixth or fifth or something. Chiefs or Eagles? I'm going to root for Eagles. Uh, the continue show guys are really into the Eagles, and I would love to see them uh, get another victory. Come on.
rich. Oh, continues great. I should really find a way to work with those guys some more. And everybody. I should work with people more often. Excited for XFL. Yeah, I kind of am. Uh, I would go to another game. It was fun. The one XFL game I went to... Uh, last season or last half season pre-COVID was, was pretty nice. Mm, what a hamburger. I thought about going to a Seahawks game this year, but it's, I just feel like it's going to be too loud. I feel like I'm going to be miserable. <laughs> Ooh, a new uh, uh, Roses and Brutal Moose collab. I can think about that. Oh, shit. I have seen uh, Ina. I've got a little Ina plush. The Dream Dream Barbecue looks so good. That trailer, if you guys haven't uh, checked out, I think it's called Dream Barbecue. A new, like a surreal adventure game that's coming out by a uh, a YouTube animator. Oh my god, it looks so cool. Would I play it on stream? Maybe. Maybe I will. There's only so many games that come out that I'm actually interested in nowadays, so maybe I should take advantage of that and uh, stream them. I definitely want to do another indie horror game stream. As, as scared as that made me, I did really enjoy doing it. Oh, wow. And it seems like a lot of people had a good time with it. Oh. I still, one of these days, I want to play Amnesia. I'm very curious to know if it's going to, if I'm going to be afraid of it or if it's, is it still scary? I don't know. I should play all the old, like, I should play Amnesia. Oh. What were those other ones people liked back in the day? There was Five Nights. Slender. I could play Slender. Eight Pages. Okay, Amnesia's still scary. It, it, it Amnesia scared the shit out of me when it first came out. I'll do some more. I'll do some more horror streams. It was, I was, uh, you know, terrified, but I get that's what made it, <laughs> that's what made it fun to watch. Bioshock Infinite. That's a pretty scary game. I, I loved Bioshock Infinite. I feel like Bioshock Infinite, uh, has an online reputation of not being good anymore. Uh, but I really loved it. It's like DMC. People didn't like DMC either. And I was like, yeah, it was pretty good. <laughs> oh, come on. I've not played At Dead of Night or uh, Yumi Nikki, though that does sound familiar. Wild Omelette, thank you for the 12 months. Hey, look, I finally got a popcorn bag. First stream I've been able to catch in a long while. Also, I'm super happy my package got to you safe and sound. Finally got to the P.O. Box stream VOD the other week. Thank you so much, Wild Omelette. Happy to see you here. I need to I need to go check the P.O. Box. I have not checked it since the last fan mail stream. And I worry that I'm going to get a reputation of a guy that just, like, leaves his mail. <laughs> leaves his mail there. Dark Fall the Journal. I haven't heard of that one. Oh. At one point, does it become self-storage? It kind of is. Last time I was there, the guy was like, you got a lot of packages. And it wasn't even, like, 
I mean, it was a significant amount, but it wasn't, it didn't seem like excessive to me. So I need to make sure I'm good about picking stuff up. Oh. Yes, Faith is still on the list. I would love to play Faith. That one, when I play Faith, I want to play it through the uh, retro, my retro setup. I feel like it would look really cool through all that stuff. I watched my boyfriend play through Faith like three or four times. So I've seen it, but I haven't played, I haven't actually played it myself. So it'll be interesting to uh, play through. Oh, shit. We both unknowingly got each other the same Mortis t-shirt for Christmas this year. Both of us have both of us have a Mortis shirt now. Oh, come on. Oh. I got off. I haven't thought about off in forever. Is off going to be too like abstract for me? Am I going to be able to get through off? I remember the soundtrack. Oh, okay, great. Yeah, great. Great. I don't think I ever played it. I think I just watched a playthrough of it. Shit. Is Undertale retro now? Is it safe to play? PB and Jaken, thank you for the 21 months. Zaharit Dragon, thank you for the 11 months. Wow, tw oh no, 21 months. Wow, 21 months of moose. Preds fan 35, thank you for the 15 months. Parzifal, thank you for the 17 months. You think it's safe? I could always play Undertale, but not... I still just might not put it as the game I'm playing, you know? I might just not go into that, <laughs> go into that Twitch category. I've not played Harvester, but Harvester does look really cool. What up, Carbon Dioxide? Is, who's playing Harvester right now? Some Let's Play channel has got to be doing Harvester because a lot of people have been mentioning it to me. Game Grumps. Okay, yeah. Why the name Brutal Moose? It's a great question. It's a question without an answer, really. Uh, it's just the name I made for my PlayStation Network account for Call of Duty. That's just the name. <laughs> it's, you know, you get, you buy a PlayStation, you buy Call of Duty, you get ready to play and they're like, well, what do you want your name to be? And then you just kind of like make something up, you know? Oh! I think I can sneak it behind the rock over there. Come on, baby. Come on, baby. No. Your old Xbox Live tag was Rabbit Armchair. My Xbox Live was a Mystery Science Theater reference, actually. It was Misty, which is what people use, fans used to call. I don't know if they still use that as a, as a term, but I was, like, so stoked that I got it. Bipio, thank you for the 34 months. Hello. Long time since I caught a stream. Happy to see you're still doing these. I'm trying to do them more often. I fell off there and I'm uh, working on the return here. I have some pretty embarrassing old like usernames. Some that, you know, some are just too embarrassing to, 
you know, we're 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 all children at one point and come up with terrible usernames. So we just keep those secrets buried. I think mine are all appropriate. Nothing offensive, just uh, humiliating. <laughs> thank you, thank you. I should really... I think I have... I think I have, like, the first... Because I was in a Call of Duty 1 clan. And I think the first, like, YouTube video that I posted was a kill compilation, like a like a clan, Call of Duty clan hype video. I think I still have it somewhere. Like, this was like a Windows Movie Maker project. I should, I should dig it up. Who was here during Ian's Call of Duty days? I don't think... I wasn't YouTubing at the time. Well, like, I I made videos and put them on YouTube, but it was different from, like, my review things. What got me into video editing, video making? I don't even really know what the spark was. I think I just like camcorders. I... I Always had a little camcorder. I borrowed like the, like we had a family uh, CVHS or VHSC camcorder. And I used the old family Hi8 tape. This is probably, uh, you know, this nonsensical to some people. But I used a Hi8 camera and I would edit my th my little short films that I would make, make with my cousin in camera. They would tell very vague uh, stories extremely vague stories and then I started doing anytime in school we could do a project I would always want to do a video I'd be like could I make a video for that and teachers would usually be like yeah sure that's cool so I have a bunch of I still have a bunch of my old school uh, video projects some of which were fine some of which were not, <laughs> not good I also uh, while I was in church, I was in the youth group, and when we would go on mission trips, I would, my entire job was to film and then edit the video when we got back, uh, which I loved to do. So I was just always making them. I just kind of have always been making videos. I dug through an old hard drive recently and I found like I would make videos when my friends and I would get together for a LAN party. I'd film, I'd film the whole night and then I would edit a video just to put on Facebook or something. What up, Jeff? Dude, I will oh, wow. privately, of course, not publicly, but I would trade high school video projects with you. We could like, I'll, sh I'll screen one. You could screen one. I'll screen one. Uh, then we could both be, you know, humiliated fairly, but I could see those videos because I want to see those videos. <laughs> I want to see the Forbidden Jeff videos. Oh, shit. Well, that seemed pretty good. That was... That was fine. Get ready to plunder. Back alley video deals. It's like an underground theater. I bet, I bet Austin has some. I bet we could all kind of get in on this. How did I edit those videos? Oh man. Well, like I said, some of them some of them were in camera editing. And then at some point I got, I'm sure some people remember this, I got a dazzle, which was just a capture device for like composite video. And then I edited it with 
It was Pinnacle video software that came with the Dazzle. Yeah, Dazzles. So I wasn't even using, like, I upgraded from Windows Movie Maker to, holy shit, I'm crushing it. To Pinnacle, to Vegas, to Premiere, eventually. Windows Movie Maker was pretty fun. Not gonna lie. I would definitely buy, if someone made, like, a a pack of transitions and, and text effects that emulate uh, Windows Movie Maker, I would totally buy that for Premiere. Didn't I get 1K for a whole golf? Did I? Yeah, I'm a pro. I don't even think anymore. I just kind of get the tickets. Jeff, what's your favorite arcade game? Not not in coin game, just like I know you like pinball. Okay, I got mad tickets. I should uh Yeah, I should do one of these. Elon Snusk, thank you for the three months. Trans trained girl. Thank you for the six months. Hey, Ian. Hope you're doing well. Interesting fact. I got in touch with the owner rights holder of Gerbert on a whim last month. They seemed really interested in bringing Gerbert back in some fashion. So there might be some fresh Gerb in the future. Yeah, I think that's why he's on his, uh, Gerbert's on his GIF game. You can find a bunch of new Gerbert reaction GIFs. Gerbert NFTs. I, I would maybe buy a Gerbert NFT just to do it. I didn't buy any NFTs, uh, but if Gerbert made an NFT, I mean, I might have to get on the blockchain for that. Thank you for the 100 bits, ultra mega pause, and for subscribing. Thank you very much. Neo Blue CD, thank you for the 10 months. Coin Game VODs are always my favorite, and I'm so stoked to get to catch one of these live now. Hope things are going well. Things are going pretty well. Hard to complain. Well, that's loud. See, I'm telling you, I don't even try. I just, I just uh, show up and get the tickets. If you're trying, you're not playing coin game right. Oh, what's that? I just got... Uh, Bonus round. Bonus, round. Bonus ball. Bonus ball. Oh, come on. Hit me with that mega. Bonus ball. Bonus ball. Oh. It's still going. Your cats are alarmed. My cat is asleep. Yeah, you know. Are they still doing leaderboards on this? I must have leaderboards in the options menu or no scores have been submitted yet. Bonus ball. I wonder if they'll ever add bowling. I feel like bowling would be an awesome uh, addition. MJ, do, MJ is doing great. She's asleep right over here. She's next to me right now. I think she likes chilling out in here because I uh, keep it pretty warm. I, bowling would be good. I would also take more mini golf, honestly. I think that's right, Jeff. Unless, unless things have changed, I'm pretty sure it's just the one guy working on this, which is so cool. Ooh, darts would be good. What's the fast? I'm trying to figure out what would the. What's 
the circle ones the more... Maybe the circle ones are the better value here. Jeez. Oh, I mean, slot machine and lucky hit, obviously. If they want to go full gambling, obviously those are uh, required choices. Love how little I know about Yu-Gi-Oh during my pack openings. Listen, Yu-Gi-Oh's just, cha just changed so much. What is this guy doing? Oh. I wouldn't hate uh, to be able to gamble for money some more instead of doing the uh, chores. I like the scratchers. We've already got some gambling in here. In fact, let's go do some scratchers. Uh... How do I get on the bike? Chores are unbalanced. How much do you get for mowing the lawn? I like the mowing the lawn minigame. Uh, delivering papers doesn't really seem worth it. Babysitting does take... It takes like two seconds. I think it would be great if they did uh, a cashier job, maybe at the mall. I think that could be fun. Lawn is 50, not bad if you're saving for golf cart. They have a cart job at the store. Oh yeah, they you can return carts. Don't you get like a dollar per cart or something though? Thank you, thank you. Uh, thank you very much. Oh, shit. Nailed it. The Dunko Duck goes for a hundred bucks some days. Do, do the value of the items fluctuate? I'm going to leave my bike out here, so hopefully it doesn't uh, get destroyed like last time. At the store, there's a monitor outside that shows good value that day. I did not know that. I did not know that. Okay, we're going... Uh, I got cash, so we're going boatloads. I've not mastered the scratchers yet. Can't say I have good luck with them. Oh, there's trunk full. Oh, there's trunk full. Eh. Ooh, come on. Fuck. Coin game influencer. I'm happy to have brought any any amount of attention to this game for sure. I think if I hadn't done it though, someone for sure would have, because it's just too good. Oh, give me that 20. Give me that 20. I'll do one more one more boatloads. I do think if I could add like anything to this not a winner. If I could like choose what was up next, I would love I'd love to be able to talk to some of the characters. Like not even all of them, but maybe the shopkeeps, like really small dialogues, I think would be cool. 
Oh yeah, I guess I can sell the scratch cards. Not a bad idea. Game is great, but it makes your computer run hot. <laughs> Romance option. I mean, I would, I would take it. Sure, why not? I've played a little bit of survival mode, but um, there was something about it I didn't like. I don't remember what it was. I think I prefer just starting with some cash and just kind of doing my own thing. I probably didn't like that I blew all my cash and uh, was spending all my time trying to get... Is it food you have to get? You have to get something. Do you have to sleep? What do you do? I kept dying because I wouldn't eat. Yeah, okay, that sounds right. I want to spend my money on the games. I don't want to spend my money on food. Life bar, food, and energy. Yeah. I'll give it another try at some point. Maybe after the mall opens, I can do a new survival run and just see how it is. Maybe if the jobs were a little better, uh, it would be easier to earn some cash. It's hard to make money in the arcade. Like... It seems like in survival mode, the arcade is kind of a waste of time, unless I'm missing something. Oh, come on. I'm stuck on that. The Honeybee Hive, thank you for the prime sub. Writing Squiggle, thank you for the 37 months. And Queek Quag 666, thank you so much for the 46 months. The stack em game can get good prizes right away. Dunko Duck sells pretty good. I'm so bad at the stack em game. Dunko I can do. I think it'll get there for me. I, I just think it's not... It just needs more stuff first. I do like... I like the idea of... Adding value to the food. See ya, Alyssa. Where's my elephant ear, dude? Where's my cow crane game is easy? I think there's one in here. Let me go check it out. I don't think I've done much of the cow crane. Is there not one in here? Nope. I do not know how to win this one. Um... see where that one goes wow <laughs> great how many unique games in here I don't think there's anything new any new games in here yet I think these are all from other places but I mean, they've got they've got boxes. They're uh, clearly planning on opening some more games. M Mall Beta is just Deb's favorite games right now. Yeah, that's true. It's true to remember that this, or it's good to remember that this is still uh, the mall is still in development. He's shown. I forget what he's shown. He's shown some uh, games he's working on. I forget which ones they are though. Fuck.
Yes, there are go karts. It's uh, not in this area. The go karts are in the UFO arcade. I could head there next. I wish there was multiplayer, because, man, the laser tag would be so much fun multiplayer. God, fuck, fuck it. I have no idea how easy or hard, like, adding multiplayer into a game is at all. But he should do it anyway. It can't be that hard. <laughs> type in add multiplayer in your code. Suddenly, you got multiplayer. It's pretty hard and costly. Nah. Nah, you just, I'm pretty sure you just type it in and it, <laughs> it happens. Players equal two. Yeah, exactly. You're telling me that code won't work? Is that a jump? Holy shit, I didn't realize I could jump on the bike. Could have used the jump there. Um, <laughs> uh, this is just a creative type of bike riding uh, that I'm working on. Freestyle bike riding. Sometimes you go a little sideways. You guys have any um, any requests for the Windows 98 computer? Haven't been on there in a while, and I would kind of like to. I guess Nancy Drew is the uh, the obvious choice. Installing Windows ME? No, I'm gonna I'm gonna not do that. I've got Sam and Max hit the road. I think I've got some FMV games. I do have virtual villagers. You know, I found my copy of Lego. I was saying I lost my copy of Lego Island. I found it the other day. I did I did not play Monkey Island on stream. Nor did I play Mist. Will Ripper finally make its debut? Stay stay tuned. Maybe one of these days. We'll see. Ripper would be a good one, though, because it's got F and B. How long? Can someone tell me how long Ripper is? Maybe if I knew how long Ripper is, it would be easier for me to be like, okay, let's get into that. I have no idea how long it's going to take me. It's like six discs or something. We already put we already beat seventh guest. Literally been waiting years for you to pl me to play Ripper. It's true. It's true. I've been talking about it for quite some time. Nine to eleven hours. That's not too bad. That's like two or three streams. That's doable. I want to play some laser tag. Pet simulators for 98. Yeah, everyone liked... Uh, it was just called pets, I think. I think they had dogs and cats. I think I might have Pets 4, maybe? I think I have one of the Pets games. Shh. Hamsters. own a fish. You're, the fish with a human face you're thinking of is uh, a Dreamcast game. Oh, shit. Oh, come on. Yeah, I think it's Seaman. Ian is camping. Dude, it's a legitimate strategy. Oh. 
I used to be good at this one, I feel like. Oh, Jumpstart first. Have we done any of the Jumpstart games? I know I have some of them. I don't remember if I've done any of the oh, wow. the Jumpstarts. <laughs> Come on. I've been watching since I've been getting my, uh, my clamshell VHS collection going. I've been seeing a lot of ads for like the Disney activity centers. I would play some of those. Hump <laughs> start. I can't play that on Twitch. Maybe a private stream. Private Discord stream will play uh, hump start. I think I have the Lion King Activity Center. I might have Lion King 2 Activity Center as well. Oh, that's not what I meant to do. Which promises can I not keep? I make a lot of promises. The Activity Centers? Oh, playing hump start for the Discord. <laughs> God, I'm bad at these go karts. You you hit one, you clip one little side, and it's just over. Guy just gave you three dog food bags of recorded TV on VHS. That sounds awesome. Was it just like a? Did he just, like, walk up to you and do that? Or is that a pre-arranged uh, exchange? Oh, wow. Found him on Nextdoor? I didn't realize you could use Nextdoor for, like, cool things. Every time I use Nextdoor, it's like old people being like, what was that noise? Did you guys hear that noise? Oh, come on, another one? Tell me what else you guys have been playing. What's the hot game right now? What's uh I'm a gamer again, so I need to be I need to be up to date on all these uh what's hot. Kingdom Hearts? I really wish I I wanted to play Kingdom Hearts cuz the games look kind of cool for what they are. I just I just don't know. Oh, Pizza Tower. I see a bunch of people talking about Pizza Tower. Oh, right, and Hi-Fi Rush. How'd you like Tinykin? Tinykin seemed pretty cool, but I wasn't really into the, the art style.
Great. Thought it was good. Does Ocarina of Time count as hip? You know, I'm actually watching my boyfriend play Ocarina of Time right now. He just started a few days ago. So I would say so. Here's the dude where's my cow. Oh, played up is good. I've played played up. I agree, Lupin. I'm also kind of liking the uh, shorter games. Honestly, even Dot Hack Infection has not been as long as I expected it to be, assuming I'm close to the end. I don't want to get... Uh, you know, I could play, play maybe one big game at a time, but I'm not looking to get into uh, too much of a commitment here. Oh, shit. Hi-Fi Rush looked interesting. Um... Yeah, again, I'm not... I I need to watch more of it. I'm not sold on the... Uh, the character design. The art style is nice. Uh, the character design, I don't know. Oh, whiff. Tried Hi-Fi Rush, just was not for you at all. I don't even really know what kind of game it is. Is it like a shooter, platformer kind of a situation? I'm assuming you rush somewhere. Oh, right. I forget that it has a rhythm element to him. Rhythm, beat him up. DMC plus rhythm. I mean, that doesn't sound unfun. That sounds like a good idea. I've only played, like, beat em up games or, uh, what are they called? Hack and Slash? I think the, I think, I think DMC is the only one of those I've ever played. I don't think that I've played, uh, a bunch of those. Could play, are you smarter than a fifth grader? Oh no, I don't need that answer. I don't really want to know if I'm smarter than a fifth grader. You got nowhere but to go but down asking that question, you know? If I don't play, are you smarter than a fifth grader? Everyone just assumes that I am. So at best, I prove that yes, I am smarter than a child, which is not, you know, it's not great. At worst, you're not smarter than a fifth grader. So the, it just seems like a gamble that's not uh, that's not worth taking. My dad used to love Jeff Foxworthy. I saw Jeff Foxworthy. I saw it's the only stand-up show I've been to. I went with my dad. And I saw Jeff Foxworthy. Don't remember any of the jokes. Uh, no, Brutal BF is... Uh, we, we haven't touched Yakuza 0 in a while. It's just so long. There's so much shit to do. I think we just kind of got burned out on it. I'd watch more Yakuza games. I really don't think... I, I, well, maybe I'll play them some. I don't want to say never, but never. Uh, just not gonna... Nev never gonna happen. But maybe. But also maybe not. I might just stick with Shenmue. Oh, come on. Oh, oh shit. Yakuza has enough fans, you know? Shinmu needs uh Shinmu needs some more love. 
Oh, that was close. Awful. Oh, hell yeah, Jim. Way to get those shin- Oh, shin moves. I don't know about that one. I played the Minecraft... Was it Minecraft Dungeons? The arcade machine the other day? It was like, uh... It was like Gauntlet. But it was Minecraft. And you could... You can collect physical cards... That you scan in when you play. And it, it like, gives you different equipment and skins and stuff. It was kind of cool. I kind of wanted to not like it, but I think that I did like it. Brutal BF is playing Banjo Tui and other some uh, other. There's like a there's Banjo Kazooie like fan levels. Like people are modding this game and, and putting in their own levels and shit. So we've been checking out some of those. But I think oh I think next up is SpongeBob Cosmic Shake. Did you say zero tickets? It said a winner every time. Ever gonna get Brutal BF reveal? Probably not. Probably not. Different arcade. This is definitely some bike riding music. Fried the forklift. Man, after reading that uh, that Animorphs thread, it makes me think of that the Animorphs PC game, the Windows 98 game. I think I've streamed it a couple or given it a try a couple times and I just get frustrated and stop playing, but it makes me want to try it again. Silver EXVII, thank you for the nine months. What? Nine months? Damn, that's crazy. Doc Holidays, thank you for the nine months. Stressful day at work made instantly better by some moose fueled arcade adventures. Bell Goblin, thank you for the 33 months. Oh boy, I went to watch a VOD and caught a stream. Ringo Buns, thank you for the 22 months. Tronbon, thank you for the 16 months. It's my birthday today. Happy Coin Game Thursday and happy 16th months, Moose. Happy birthday, Tronbon. I hope you have a good one. And hey, Shern, thank you for the prime sub. Animorphs did have a game. It was called Animorphs Know the Secret. It was like a top-down... 3D adventure game. There was some type of battle system in it, but I don't remember what that was. I'll have, just have to take a look at it again sometime. Played through a Banjo-Kazooie mod that had levels based on Ocarina of Time. I think I've heard of that one. I haven't checked that one out yet, but I've heard of it. Yes, this, I'm pretty sure the Animorphs game was a story-based game. It wasn't like a mini-game compilation. It was actual. It was actually a story-based adventure. Who was your favorite Animorph? I liked Tobias. I always liked the uh, the tragic characters. Flying Unifish, thank you for subscribing.
get off the bike. How many Animorphs characters can you actually name? How many people in here can name Animorphs characters? Maybe that's the uh, maybe that's the real question. Am I a big music guy enjoying anything lately? Yeah. Oh, thank you. Thank you very much. I actually have been setting up this these rooms over here right outside of my office. Uh, is like my little media nook. And I just set up my vinyl player uh, with some badass speakers that the previous owner of the house left me. And I was listening to some... Uh, I listened to the Mist soundtrack last night. Uh, while I was mounting the TV, I listened to uh, a few cassettes, Hooked on Swing, Hooked on Classics, which are like jazz renditions of different songs. Oh, dude, hell yes, I read Wayside Story. Wayside Story, or Sideways Stories from Wayside School, one of my favorite book series uh, as a child. Hell yes. Oh, see, I'm so bad at prize stacker. Awful. Did they ever make sideways stories into like a show or a movie? It seemed like something that they would have uh, capitalized on at some point. Did they make a cartoon? I'm assuming it was a cartoon. It was a movie and a TV show. Were they good? Fucking, it wasn't even close. Michael Sarah was in the movie? Hold on, I actually have to look this up real quick. God, I love these books. Okay, it was later adapted into a Nickelodeon te television show called Wayside. Canadian show, two seasons, 07 to 08. Okay, Michael Sarah was only in the pilot, I think. I might have to I might have to check that out. I couldn't name for you like I could not recall a wayside story like plotline. I think if I read him it would like come back to me as I was experiencing it. Uh, but I did used to love that uh, series of books. Wayside, yeah, so the the Wayside, Sideways Stories from Wayside School was a series of books uh, about like a, like a kooky, I'm assuming it was like an elementary school, junior high maybe? And if I remember correctly, the, the, the school was on its side or something. Girl fell out of the window because she slept in class. Yeah, it was like bizarre. Watch out, you're going to crash. Ah! Kind of like surreal, bizarre school adventures. Elementary school, it was built 30 stories up instead of sideways. Okay, supposed to be long, built it tall. I'm gonna have to I'm gonna have to check these out again. I'm just gonna go read all these uh books from my youth. I'm just gonna go read Animorphs, I'm gonna read Sideways Story, and I'll be so much smarter after it. Pocket Bear Illustrator, thank you for the 41 months. Hello, Ian, fellow and fellow gamers. How is y'all doing this fine evening? I'm doing all right this fine afternoon. Doppela Fox, thank you for the four months. Hi, Ian. Hope everything is going great today. Always great to catch a brutal stream on a Thursday. And Electra Kelly, thank you very much for the $5 in change. Uh, there's a great FMV game I used to play as a kid called Dust, A Tale of the Weird West. Of the Wired West. A Dust a Tale of the Wired West. Scared the crap out of me. Hold on, let me look it up. Dust a Tale of the Wired West. 
Oh shit, this looks cool. It's like, uh, it looks like an Oregon Trail. Dust was a commercial failure. Got good reviews, though. It's an adventure game. The player, playing a character called The Stranger, travels around a virtual old western desert town in the New Mexico desert of 1882. Oh my god, there's blackjack and poker games and a shooting range? eBay. <laughs> oh, hell yeah. Yeah, I'll get this. I'm going to get this. Affordable. I'll purchase one of these after the after the stream. Thank you uh, so very much for the recommendation. Uh... Streamlabs is now loading, so I can't see who. It wasn't Electra Kelly. Who sent me the? Uh, who sent me the? Oh, it was Eltra Kelly. Thank you for the recommendation, Eltra Kelly. Elect Eltra Kelly, and Puddin Dancer. Thank you for the seven months. Can I buy the awful Animorphs game? I have the Animorphs game. I'm telling you, I've streamed the Animorphs game in the past. Dust, A Tale of the Wired West. Don't look up the game. Just wait for me to play it. Nobody else look it up. Anyone remember if uh, Wolves Rain was any good? The anime version. I recently bought a like a collection. I saw it at half price, and it was a, a reasonably priced collection. I was like, I remember that show. I remember watching that show, but I don't remember. Did I ask this last stream? Don't call me out like that, Lupin. I didn't ask it last. That was that was past Ian that asked it. Current Ian doesn't know doesn't remember that so <laughs> so he wants to know depression fuel anime that sounds pretty good I can't I how am I supposed to remember things the things that I've talked about the things that I've said I need to take notes on just, like, general... Honestly, actually... I'm gonna... I'm actually gonna do this. I'm gonna start having a notepad with me when I stream, so I can just, like, jot down things. I'm, I'm the kind of guy that gets lost midway through a sentence. I'll start a sentence, and then I'll just kind of forget... What I was talking, what what was I talking about? <laughs> okay. Oh shit! Is Coin Game still early access? Yes, it's still in beta. I'm pretty sure, still in development. Bojack Horseman got too sad. I stopped watching Bojack. <laughs> Bluey, oh my god. Talk about a show I can't escape. I don't know if anybody else's like socials are are full of adults talking about <laughs> Bluey. Uh, unavoidable for me right now. Mm. 
It's fine if you want to love Bluey. I'm just saying it's everywhere right now. Very, um, it reminds me of uh, My Little Pony, the craze, the My Little Pony craze. I'm seeing everybody's Bluey sonas. Blue. Velma, I don't hear anything about Velma anymore. I, I heard a bunch about Velma like the day it came out, and now I don't I don't see anything about it. Listen, I'm I'm talking about how I'm watching a bunch of old Disney VHSs, so I only have so much ground to stand on here. I'm just saying I see it everywhere. I'm not much into horror movies, no. I'm not a horror movie guy. Maybe that'll change the more uh, scary games I play. If I play more scary games, maybe I'll build up like a tolerance. Oh, dude, Fox and the Hound is one of my favorite. I don't have Fox and the Hound on VHS right now. It's, it's one of the ones I'm keeping an eye out for. Oh, I watched Fantasia last night. Holy shit, Fantasia is so good. Great, zero tickets. Good job. I haven't seen, I've never seen Great Mouse Detective, I don't think. I did just watch one of these uh, Sherlock Hound tapes that someone sent in. That was pretty good. Sherlock Hound was pretty great. And I watched uh, I watched Three Caballeros the other day. Oh my god, also so good. I think I talked about this on... Uh, I don't know where I talked about this. But Three Caballeros was great. Never seen that one before. Yeah, Sherlock Hound is Miyazaki. Did not... I don't think I knew that at first. Dorito McBeef. Thank you for the eight months. Hey, Ian. Thanks for the stream. Have you ever watched Clone High? I have not watched Clone High. I don't actually really know what Clone High is. I'm assuming it is a high school full of clones. Oh, no, I'm stuck. All the songs of Three Cavalieros are stuck in your head. So good. Oh, my God. Donald Duck wanted to fuck so bad in that movie. It was hilarious. <laughs> Ooh. Close. That was close. Too hard? Too hard. Ooh! I think that should count. Burned out on Caballeros? I'd never, I'd never seen it. Oh! Oh! Clone High is the one where it's a bunch of, like, known figures. I guess I have heard that one, of that one before. Salted Snake, thanks for gifting that sub uh, to Dagny Taggart. Thank you very much. Oh, I watched um, Oliver and Company the other day. That was one of the tapes that I got recently. Oliver and Company was super good. I've not seen 16. The name sounds familiar, though. Ooh, I just almost hit the Mega again. I 
I gotta watch Saludos Amigos for full experience. I'll keep an eye out for it. <laughs> watch more Barbie movies. Are you talking like Barbie? Oh, I got jackpot. Hell yeah, dude. Are you talking about like the Barbie promo videos? Like the one I streamed? Or are you talking about actual Barbie movies? Because I don't have a bunch of those. I would get Life in the Dream House on Blu-ray if they released it as such. Gotta watch Princess and the Popper. That's something we could do for a Discord stream. Still haven't watched that Gumby tape. I want to watch that Gumby tape. It's looking at me back there. My sister messaged me uh, the other day asking about just old cartoons we used to watch. Uh, she asked me if I remembered As Told by Ginger. And immediately, like, her fucking face popped up in my mind. Why, why did those characters not have chins? Everyone's everyone's lips were like on the the the, the bottom part of their face. So fucking weird. So weird. I think I think Pepper Ann was the uh, superior uh, redhead show. She's like one in a million. Oh yeah, Weekenders was one of my favorites. Oh, wow. I love that the Weekenders, like their whole thing was like, I want to go to the mall. <laughs> like that's such a great, uh, great little time capsule. Oh, Recess is an, another good one that I was talking about. I got I got Recess Schools out on VHS uh, the other day. That's one of the ones I bought. Also, the trailer for Weekend or Recess Schools Out was on everything. So many of these VHS tapes have uh, commercials for Recess Schools Out. It's insane. Didn't uh, was it, didn't Tino from Weekenders? Wasn't he the one that said Later Days? Is that is that where I got Later Days from? I wasn't allowed to watch Ah Real Monsters. That's how the show ended. Okay, that's what I thought. Brace face. Oh my god. That was a Canadian show, right? My life is complicated, boyfriends. Don't wanna talk about it, teenage. Chili McReel. McReel. Chili McReel. Thank you for the six months. Hi, Moose. Have you seen the Yu Gi Oh! anniversary packs? It contains some old school reprints packs. I have seen those. And I'm just gonna. I'm just going to restrain myself. I really don't need more Yu-Gi-Oh. I have so many Yu-Gi-Oh cards, I cannot remember the last time I played Yu-Gi-Oh. Bonus ball. Bonus Whatever happened to Robot Jones, dude? Bonus ball. Bonus ball. Come on, give me that mega. Mm-hmm. Oblivious meth. Thank you for the 23 months. Please forward these subs to Luke. I'll do my best. I remember uh, Robot Jones, but I don't really remember what happens in Robot Jones. Oh my God, Wild Thornberries. Talk about another ugly ass show. Ah! 
I'm not sure I could survive wild thornberries again. Between the between the ugly the ugly how everybody looks <laughs> and the uh the like the monkey child or whatever whatever that kid's deal I don't know that I could handle it. I bet the uh I bet the I remember like a bitchy older sister. I bet she would be the uh the best part of the show for me these days. Rugrats. Rugrats is another one I we watched a ton and I just don't know that I could. It's so ugly. Like it Rugrats kind it, it kind of grosses me out looking at Rugrats. I need to get some of the Donkey Kong animated series. I need to get the the Legend of the Crystal Coconut tape cuz I had that one growing up. The big bog monster is coming after you. I remember that song. I bought that tape in a blockbuster. I remember seeing it. Holy shit, Donkey Kong TV show? This is going to change the game. I remember an episode of Reboot. I didn't watch Reboot, but I had a friend who, like, he had a taped episode of Reboot. Uh, I think he had taped the Mario Brothers movie and uh, Reboot, an episode of Reboot, one after the other. So we would watch the Mario movie, and then Reboot would just come on after. Oh my god, I watched uh, I watched Cartoon All-Stars again. I showed uh, my boyfriend ca Cartoon All-Stars because I just had to see Bugs Bunny say, Is that a joint? Great flick. You want to do drugs? Yeah, it, that does make me want to do drugs. If you, if you ever want to feel like you want to do drugs, I would watch that. <laughs> watch that tape. Definitely got to do more VHS. I'm excited for more VHS streams this year. There it is. There it is. Great. Great. Yeah, great. Come on, dude. Oh my god, big comfy couch. I remember big comfy couch. Guest commentators on VHS streams in the future. I don't know. Maybe? The thing with the VHS streams is like, it's nice to talk, but you also have to shut up so that people can hear the VHS. I, if I had another person on there, you might not actually be able to hear what's going on. Are you guys talking about Angela Anaconda, the best looking show on TV? My name is Angela, hey, hello. Welcome to my very own show. Rigged. There we go. What about um, Super Monkey Robot Team Hyperforce Go? 
I remember the name of that show. Can't remember anything that happens. I'm assuming there's a there's a super monkey robot team. Didn't watch Samurai Pizza Cats. I watched, uh, I was going to call it MXC, which I did watch, but I'm thinking of Megas XLR. I used to love Megas XLR. Okay, I'm going to find a new arcade. I'm going to wander. Oh, I've only got $14. I should sell some stuff, actually. MXC is so good. I've got the MXC DVDs, and they have some behind-the-scenes features, and it's so cool watching them. It's just like a, it's like five people in like a recording room just kind of throwing shit at the screen. It's so good. Didn't watch... I don't think I was allowed to watch Angry Beavers, or maybe I just didn't watch Angry... Angry was in the title, so... Maybe I wasn't allowed to watch it. Let's see here, what show are you talking about? I lost the description. Uh, Santa Core, what what show are you thinking of? Oh, I haven't bought any. I need to buy some shit with my uh my tickets real quick. Just saw a YouTube short where there was a hack I could do uh, with an arcade machine. Where if you play the Aladdin song Arabian Nights and press the button on the part where it plays the chorus, you can beat it no matter what. That's an interesting strat. The Aladdin strat. Why was I banned from watching so many things? I grew up in a, uh, in a, like a conservative, uh, like a Southern Baptist Christian household. And so there were, there were some interesting rules about, uh, what I could and, and couldn't watch, which is fine. You know, it is, it is how it is. Now I, now I have, I can relate to other people that grew up the same way. It's kind of fun. You're in like a special, uh, <laughs> special little club. We're not allowed to watch anything deemed ugly. Yeah, trauma bonding. The only one I really am upset about, honestly, the only one that really carried much weight was Pokemon. Just because it was, like, such a cultural phenomenon as, like, the biggest thing that happened, basically, in my childhood, and I wasn't allowed to take part. But everything else is like, eh, I can watch it later. Oh yeah, Yu-Gi-Oh! is way more demonic than Pokemon, but I could watch Yu-Gi-Oh! Because, uh, you know, they're kind of making up rules on the fly, you know? Oh, I bought, um... I've probably talked about this before. I wasn't allowed to watch Matilda. I've got my sad birthday story of at my best friend's uh, birthday at his house. Everyone was watching Matilda, and I was in his parents' room playing Sega Genesis because I wasn't allowed to watch the movie. Um, but I did just yesterday, I think it was yesterday or the day before I bought Matilda on VHS. So I'm going to, you know, I'll write that wrong. Yeah, my sad birthday. I still remember watching Yu-Gi-Oh! at a friend's house and his, his mom making us change the channel because everyone looked so angry. Why does everyone look so angry? You guys should change the channel. <laughs> he thought the use of pyramids were demonic. Out of all the things to latch onto in Yu-Gi-Oh! Pyramids? Oh, dude, I want to watch Jumanji. I've never seen Zathura, and I have Zathura on VHS. I I have Jum I got Jumanji on VHS too. I want to watch them in order. 
I don't know if people liked Zathura or not, or if if it was bad. I don't really remember what people thought about it. Zathura's great. I like that it's a based around a game. I like I like media that's based around a game. Like Saw or Squid Game or The Game. Zathura sounds like a medication. I can see that. Don't take Zathura if you're allergic to Zathura. Let me on the bike. I have not played the Saw video game, but I feel like I remember when Gerard, uh, the completionist, was playing the Saw games a while back. Can I get on the bike? Okay. I also really want to get the live action uh, Flintstones. I was I was listening to uh, the Workaholics guys podcast and they were talking about the live action Flintstones. I was like, man, I think the one they go to Vegas. I don't remember. Uh, John Goodman's in it. But my, I remember my aunt and uncle having that movie, and like I have like really vague memories of seeing it. Viva Rock Vegas. Vegas one is the sequel. I'm just gonna have to get both because I bet they're great. They were talking about how many like practical effects. I just. Man, the further away we get from practical practical effects, the cooler they are. A very Brady movie. I've seen I have the the Brady Bunch movie. The one where they're they're in the 90s but they still act like they're in the 70s or whatever. That one's hilarious. Sure, Jan. Oh, come on. That's me actually shooting a basketball? That's how it would go. Oh. The, the Fruzels? The Land of the Fruzels. It was like a cheap puppet show like Sesame Street. I cannot say I remember that. I haven't heard of that one. What were the... What were the... the in Spy Kids 1, what were the, guy, like the guys called? Fruzels makes me think of... Makes me think of Spy Kids for some reason. Why is that? There's a word. The thumbs? Is that what they were called? Floop? Floop. Was the guy's name Floop? Floop is a madman. Help us save us. That's in my head for some reason. <laughs> okay, well, I got to get Spy Kids on, uh, on VHS. You know what I really want on VHS? I really want to get... The live-action Inspector Gadget movie. I used to watch that movie all the time. Oh, come on. I still wake up at night saying Floop is a madman. Help us. Yeah, it's just that totally unrelated thing awoke the Spy Kids memories. I don't think I remember the second Inspector Gadget movie. I, I'm pretty sure they did a sequel. But I definitely remember the first one. I'm really getting into that era, like early 2000s kind of movies. Movies I used to think were like bad. I go back and watch and it's like, man, these people were trying something. They, they were at least, uh, you know, they were at least coming up with 
zany ideas. Not a winner. I never saw Shark Boy and Lava Girl, I don't think. I remember it coming out. Did not see any of the mask movies. Not a winner. Not a winner. Holy shit. I've also really enjoyed, now that I have my, I've got my uh, DVD shelves and everything set up, I've arranged them like a, like a video store. So I've got little labels for like comedy, action. My fam the family section is huge because I've got a bunch of Gerber and shit in there. Uh, but it's been really nice to browse a shelf for things to watch. Uh, rather than, like, I feel like I get what is it, analysis paralysis when I'm browsing uh, Netflix. Browsing Netflix makes me want to not watch things. Like, I'll get tired of looking for something. I'll be like, I'm not going to watch anything. The horror section? Horror section is probably, like, this big. Mostly full of, uh... No, actually, I think it has a second shelf. I've got a bunch of old, like, shitty-looking horror movies that I haven't watched. Uh, Gotta expand the horror section. Once it's completely set up, I'll uh, I'll take some pictures of it so you guys can actually see what I have. Also, what up, Sean? I saw you there. Are you runescaping? You guys vote in the RuneScape poll for the new skill? I did. I woke up from my death sleep to vote. That's got to be a winner, right? Yum, yum. Yeah. How old? How old am I? I'm 30. People know. I'm 30, 32, 31, 31, 32. I don't think I'm 33 yet. I'm like 31 or 32. <laughs> I'm 43. Now I'm around there, you know, somewhere between. I'm somewhere in my 30s or my 40s. <laughs> I'll get the... Oh, I don't have enough for the Rasta banana. Oh, I got to sell more stuff. I'm out of money. Yeah, I'm definitely not 34 yet. I don't think. Maybe I... I don't think that I am. Edible skeleton. Thank you for the 11 months. Great videos, Ian, but can you return my family already? I bought the HelloFresh, please. I just want to see them again. Maybe if you've been subscribed for a year or so, you know, you really need to enjoy that HelloFresh before I can return your family. An ultra mega pause. Thank you so much for the 200 bits. I was born in 1957. <laughs> yeah, you know, I, I really, the 60s were a crazy time. You know? Would I ever want to make an FMV game? Absolutely. I think that's... I Honestly, I, I think that's in the cards for me. Uh, yeah, you gotta give me like 10 years or something to get to that part of my life. But I have a feeling that that will happen. 
Oh wait, I didn't bumper car. I wanted a bumper car. Still need the documentary about film piracy? Is that something I said I was doing? It was a lie if that's something I said I was doing. I'm not doing that. <laughs> uh, Miss Mello Molly, thank you for the five months. Just what I needed on my sick day. Everyone is sick. When's the next indie horror game stream? Uh, it's coming up. Oh no, I need I need more money. I definitely plan on doing more. It's not, it's not going to be the, the my main feature here, but I will do more of them. Get out of here. Jazz reminds you of the Weather Channel. Oh, sorry, Santa Cor. I keep missing. I keep missing when you're talking about the show. Uh, Wonder Shows, and I have heard of uh, Wonder Shows, and I've heard really good things about Wonder Shows, and actually. I can't say I remember that show. <laughs> no, I don't remember that other, the other, uh, I can't, I do not remember the show about two high school girls inflating each other by mouth to mouth. That sounds like maybe a more adult feature that you came across. Concerned and confused. No, that does not ring. That does not ring any bells for me. Did anyone here watch the uh, the uh, Animorphs TV show? I know I keep going back to Animorphs, but that's what I've got on the brain uh, today. I've always wanted to, to watch and and do a video on that show because I've never seen it, and I'm assuming it's not very good. Keep going back to Animorphs. Well, did you see the show, Lupin? Oh, I was going to sell stuff. No, I would not Animorph into a moose. That seems like a... Ter what would be the advantage of Animorphing into a moose? Glad you made it here, Crunch Bits. Being big? I don't want to be... I, I'm already too big. Trample people to death. Well, you know, that is something I want to do on a regular basis. Lion Dose. Thank you so much for the 10 months. Uh, to join the Discord, you're supposed to link your Twitch and your, uh, your Discord accounts in Discord. And then it should show up under the Connections tab. Been some fun stuff going on in the Discord lately, so if you uh, are not in there already, you might want to be. I don't want to oversell it. There's been some mildly interesting things going on in the Discord occasionally every now and again when I have time for it.
Yeah, I've been randomly banning people. It's a lot of fun. Okay, I don't want to do that. I'll go babysit for some cash. Where is the... Where is that house? I hope you like the HelloFresh. I I actually love HelloFresh. I, I don't think I would be doing so many brand deals with them if I didn't uh, eat so fucking much of it. <laughs> You know, I've been reading about the King of the Hell, the King of the Hill reboot heading to Hulu or whatever, but I thought it was already confirmed that that was happening. I must have just not been paying attention. Where am I? Oh, Hulu picked it up? Okay. I... Oh, I'm in the wrong neighborhood. I, uh... I'll hope it's good. I have I have serious doubts that it's going to be good. But it could be good. So I'm going to, you know, I'll give it a shot. Original cast coming back is definitely a good start. I wonder what they're going to do with uh, Luann. Yeah, Mike Judge is still funny. So, you know... Or at least last time I checked, Mike Judge was still funny. Oh, welcome back, Joy. We had that's where you, we had a really big conversation about you specifically, but you weren't here for it. Um, it's okay. Nothing, nothing too mean was said. Standard stuff. Silicon Valley was great. Silicon Valley is one of my favorite shows. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Iris, the lake spirit. Thank you for the 25 months. Wow. I missed a bunch of months. Uh, glad to catch a stream today. And thanks for the HelloFresh musical numbers. Not a problem. And Chick Magnet, 76. Thank you for the 24 months. Moose, you are the shining moon to my night's blooming Camilla. My heart yearns only for you, and by that I mean the latest video was great. Thank you very much, Chick Magnet 76 And Pastel Charlie, thank you for the prime sub. Silicon Valley overstayed its welcome. I disagree. I disagree. In fact, I think Silicon Valley is one of the, the few shows that I've seen remain good even after losing like a main cast member. Main cast, cast member literally left because he felt it was the exact same cycle every season and it overstayed its welcome. Yeah. He also proved to be kind of nuts. <laughs> so I'm not going to trust his judgment on uh, whether the show was still good or not. Would you get the fuck, get the fuck to sleep? Uh, what's his name? Ehrlich Bachman in the show. Oh, uh, what the fuck is that guy's name? TJ Miller, that's it. He left to... He left to go do the Emoji movie. So, yeah, he really, he really traded up. You're right. Silicon Valley, tanking. Not good anymore. Emoji movie... Hell yeah, that's that's the high art. That's it's the good shit.
Yeah, poop emoji, my favorite character. To be fair, I have not seen Emoji Movie. It could be great. It could just be an undiscovered gem. It's not. <laughs> oh my god, you saw it in theaters? Okay, I'm going to get in contact with the people that own the Emoji Movie and see if see if we can't stream it. <laughs> we'll, we'll, I'll broadcast Emoji Movie. So bad it wasn't even funny. That's kind of how I, uh, I imagine it. Some stuff is so bad it's funny. Some stuff is just... There's no redeeming qualities there. It's my favorite musical artist and song. Favorite mu musical artist is Queen. If I had to pick a favorite song by Queen, it might be the Prophet song. Prophet song is so fucking good. I also really love Death on Two Legs. Death on Two Legs is also just such a fucking jam. Oh, wow. Ween? No, I said queen. I, I've never heard of ween. <laughs> I don't know Ocean Man. I guess I don't know Ocean Man. Somebody sing Ocean Man for me. How many seconds can I listen to Ween before it gets copyright ID? Ween. Oh, uh, okay. Yeah, that's that's like a song. It's like that's it's like a funny song. I don't think I would listen to that song for for pleasure. No, I, I'm, I, I'm, I was talking about Queen. Yeah, I'm dunking, I'm dunking on Ween, but I, I don't know anything about him, so you know, I'm just, I'm just dunking to dunk. Oh wow! Go to karaoke song. I only saw, sang karaoke once. I was wasted. And I sang an oldies song. I sang, I think it was a Neil Sedaka song. What the fuck did I sing? Something like a grandpa would get up and sing. Thank you for the bits. Uh, crunch bits o meef. Willie Neal. Thank you for the 11 months. Dragon Attack. That's a Queen song, right? I think that's on the game. Poetic image not found. Thank you for the eight months. What the fuck did I sing? Uh, okay, I gotta clean the floor. I sang... I can't remember. I just remember I was at a small bar with a friend there were a few other people there and the karaoke guy was really trying to get someone to do karaoke and I went up and looked at the catalog I was like hey you guys what songs you guys got and I found a song I liked and I kind of like backed out I was like ah, eh, you know I don't know that I want to do it and uh, I went and sat back at my table and the karaoke guy sent like shots to my table to get me wasted enough to go sing. And that worked. <laughs> I was like, well, I have to do it now.
I'll mow in the snow. Like Queen's music, not something you avidly... What do you listen to, Cosmo? I haven't really added anything new to my music. I haven't listened to new music lately. I listen to the Hypnospace soundtrack a lot. Or when I do listen to like when I need background music for something. But honestly, my music listening time has been filled with podcasts lately. Podcasts and audiobooks. Ooh, Jamiroquai, great choice. Jazz fusion? What is it fused with? I hope it's like jazz and screamo would be an interesting combination. I could look at my uh, Spotify real quick and see like what the last songs I added, like I liked were. Okay, Dragon Attack is from the game. That's what I thought. I actually just, I moved my vinyls yesterday and I have the game. other song Queen has? Is it My Fairy King? Is that the one that's like... Their early stuff was way more like metal-y. Like fantasy metal. I listened to the radio recently. Uh, just while I was driving. And I think it was like a pop station. So what they were playing... I'm sure one of you guys can help me ID this song. The song was like, one time I was seven years old, one time I was 11 years old, one time I was 11 years old, one time I was seven years old. <laughs> so I, that's what the kids are listening to today, I think. hate that song oh my god i was roasting at the entire entire time i was just like how how the fuck old are you now then <laughs> i was 11 years old i knew i knew someone would be able to id it just from that soon i'll be 60 years old 2018 is what we're classifying as pretty... I haven't listened to new music in, like, ages. I don't know what's hot. I really love it, love it if... Uh, my Chemical Romance would put out some new music since they've been like touring together and stuff. Man, I'd be so pumped if they put out a new album. One time I was six years old. And then another time I was 10 years old. This other time I was 13 years old. Panic is officially done. I did not hear that. I've heard that Fallout did. Yeah, Fallout Boy put out new stuff and it actually sounds like Fallout Boy. I might have to listen to that. Barbecue, barbecue. 
Oh, I think uh, I, I think I talked about this in previous stream, but I think Streetlight Manifesto is working on a new album, which I would be very keen to listen to. Streetlight's so good. Am I a ska kid? I mean, mostly Streetlight. I mean, I like ska. I mostly listened to Streetlight. And, uh, was it Goldfinger? Did not, did not li get into, uh, Real Big Fish. No. Uh, Bandits of the Acoustic Revolution. Okay, I, I was like, I know what that uh, abbreviation is. Yes, I did listen to Bandits of the Acoustic Revolution. And I love his, uh, the toke, the, uh, his acoustic covers of Streetlight songs are also super good. I wish I had a flashlight. What <laughs> more little John? Who would I want new? Uh, if I wanted someone to come back, who would I? Who would I want to make like a revival album? There is a band called Presidents of the United States of America. I used to love that band actually. Reliant K still making albums? I'd listen to some new Reliant K. Yes, they did write Lump. It's like I'm reading your iPod mini. Ooh, you know, that's a great, dude, Cosmo, great pick. I would be all over a Tally Hall album. I would also be all over a new OK Go album. I feel like they've said they're working on new music every once in a while, but I mean, it's been forever since uh, Hungry Ghosts. Yeah, Tally Hall and OK Go are both solid choices for uh, bands I would love to make new music. Oh my god, fucking Family Force 5. Uh, I would take some new S Club 7 music. They, uh, they put out some uh, real solid jams. Yeah, OK Go did put out a lockdown song, but I want like a full, I want a full OK Go experience here. Dude, S Club was so good. I was organizing my cassettes yesterday and uh, man, my Aaron Carter cassette makes me sad now. It's a, it's a depressing little cassette tape. Is Foxy Shazam making music? Anyone know Foxy Shazam? That's another band I would take some new, new music from. I'm not like a fan of their full catalog, but the songs I do like, I like a lot. about to type Foxy Shazam. Yeah, that's a good one. I 
think I'm almost done. I don't see much more. I don't see two. That's a that's a grass. Does it tell me when I'm done? <laughs> yeah, see, I don't need I don't need horror games to get jump scared. Uh it just happens. Fry up breakfast. Thank you so very much uh for the $12 and change. And hey, I'm saving this until my next mail day. But if you are from Wild at Heart, in Seattle, I have the letter you sent. This was in the fan mail I was supposed to open uh, last time, and I, it just, it like slipped out somewhere. So whoever sent that in, I, I have it, and I, I'll open it next fan mail time. Amtrak Acela, thank you for the 15 months. Happy to see some more coin game. Thanks for introducing such a hidden gem for everyone. Also, thank you for gifting that sub fry up breakfast to Seismic Coin and Anthony X Daniel One. Thank you for the two months. I don't know when my uh, when my next fan mail opening is. I have to go to the PO box for what the fuck? Quiet, quiet you. Okay, I'm going to see what the last things I liked on Spotify are. I'm, I'm curious now. Oh, it's... um. I liked a couple songs from the Hypnospace soundtrack. Some oldies. A song called Fish in a Bird Cage from the album Fish in a Bird Cage. Uh, Lydia by Nell Word. I thought that one was pretty good. Yeah, nothing new. Lots of stuff from playlists that I come across. Freeze Me, Death from Above, 1979. I think that was a credits music for some show I was watching. Drink It Right song from Hypnospace is your alarm clock sound. I love uh, Red Strikes music. Remember Me and Push are both awesome songs. But the ones on uh, Spotify aren't the Hypnospace mixes. I like the Hypnospace mix. Death From Above 1979 slaps. I'm trying to think of what show... That they're, I heard their music in. I'm not, I'm not sure. It could have been Silicon Valley, actually. I do like uh, the song Granny's Hot Butter Ice Cream from Hypnos. I like all the, uh, I think Chowder Man was the one that did that jingle. All the Chowderman stuff is great. I think I like the, uh, what's the guy's name? Is it Basidia? Bastidia? Uh, that, that, uh, is the Hypnospace artist I also really like. No, not Bastille. It's a Hypnospace artist. Where do I want to go? Can you do anything at the motel yet? I could go to this little store, the strip mall. Yeah, like the pretend ones. I think it's the I think it's the creator. I think it's Jay Tholan's music, but the character is Bas did Basid Bas uh, I have to look it up. I think the Ghost of the Grotto is one of the songs. Bas Basidia. Yeah, I was right. Basidia. I was close, at least.
take you off the bike. See you, Crunch. Oh, shit. Mm, what a hamburger. Dude, it's Luke Land VO. Thank you so much for gifting those five snubs. How's it going, Lukeland? This is specifically for Pepperoni Ian. Thank you very much. I'm happy that uh, Ian Pepperonis could win you over so much. I'm actually, this is like a, I know this is a rarity to hear from me, but I'm actually excited to make more food videos. Like, it, it's probably clear from that last video that I actually really had fun making that one. Uh, so, get ready for some good, what is the other, okay. Some more good good food videos, because I'm, I'm excited to make more. Yeah, I'm a gamer. Yeah, I'm pretty good at pinball. I don't think I'm going to do the Cheeto Mac. I don't know about the Cheeto Mac and cheese. Okay, I nudged it. Great. I love the idea of putting in a pinball machine that is a game of the town. I just think that's such a cool idea. Pinball's hard, dude. Where's the, uh... Anybody got bad movie recommendations? Let me see. Let me think about what was the last bad movie that I watched. Thank you very much, Mood Moodle Bruce. I've been thinking about playing DDR some more lately, actually, just because uh, I need to move my body. First, I might have to buy it first. I was going to pay for it. I was going to heat it up first. 
Is that a crime? I guess technically it might be. I am Josh. Thank you very much for subscribing. Well, what do you guys want to see me do next? What's the next stream you guys want to see me do? Bad movie night stream? I'd have to do something like that on Discord. You know, it'd have to be movies that I can actually... That's how you do it. More getting scared. I could do that. I do want to do I do want to do some more Windows 98 at some point. It'll probably be a Nancy. But I also have secret plans. Secret plan. Vascro, thank you for the 2 months. Good to see you, Ian. Been too long since I caught a stream. Happy you made it. Just watch Cartoon All Stars again. No, you may not know. That's why it's a secret plan. You'll just have to tune in when it happens. Chill truck. I can do chill truck. I feel like with streams like this and, and chill truck, I need to make sure I show up with like things to talk about. You know, I gotta fill that I gotta fill that time. I guess I can always just fall back on food. Oh yeah, good I should just take acid. That's what I'll do next stream. I'll just draw I'll just drop some ass. That's actually that's what the secret plan was. I just didn't want to spoil it. Probably gonna get oh oh Luke, do you do bad movie nights? Do you just stream bad movies? I'm too worried about getting banned. I I've been streaming some stuff in Discord. Uh very rarely, but occasionally. I'd be too nervous streaming like a full on movie here. Wow, I do not have any tickets. Oh, I'm holding him. I got a, I got a cash. Good call. Good call. Oh yeah, we could watch some public domain movies. Isn't one of the um, like Dawn of the Dead or something? Isn't that one uh, public domain? If you can find it on YouTube, no one cares about movies. We'll see. We'll see. We'll see. I might just be be too afraid. I'm not afraid of getting sued, really. I'm more afraid of, like, getting, like, taken off Twitch for whatever reason. But, I mean, if that's what everyone's doing, then I don't know why I would be singled out. Ok. 
Can I put him up on top of the... I think he died. Try to stick to really obscure stuff available on YouTube. Then I delete the VODs and pray to Twitch Jesus. I don't know. That might be too risky for me. Everyone just go watch Luke Land VO instead. I do still have some VHS tapes that we could watch. Watch MST3K with me. They they were all about keeping the, the tape circulating at one point. I, I don't know that they would have a problem with it. It's probably not fully legal, but... Movies made by the uploader? Is that, is that something people are doing? Are people just posting their full-on movies on YouTube? Yeah, we did watch... We did watch some Yu Yu Hakusho in the Discord. I watched one of those um, Toonami tapes that someone sent in. We watched the full, like, six hours. It was a compilation of Inuyasha, Yu Yu Hakusho, and Cowboy Bebop. It's pretty good. I'd never seen Cowboy Bebop before, but it is uh, it it Bebop on my watch later list now. Dub the entire movie myself. We we saw the the episode that sold me on Cowboy Bebop was the. Uh, what the fuck was that guy doing? The internet one. He was trying to get people to upload their brains to a computer or something like that. It was really cool. Yeah, the cult one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was a cult. It's a site called SyncTube that synchronizes YouTube playback for anyone who joins the room. Interesting. Erased was all right. Erased was okay. Not my favorite. Though I do think... Was that the one where um, the lady that did Dot .hack... The music for Dot Hack, I think she did the erased soundtrack and it was really good. Consider it. I don't think I'm gonna be streaming like full movies on Twitch. Uh, I might just I just might just stay in the Discord uh, for that kind of thing. I was good with Erased until I realized they they show you who the villain is in the intro. 
And then for the rest of the show, because my boyfriend was showing it to me, and the entire time I was like, if this guy ends up being the villain, I'm going to be so pissed. And sure enough, uh, it, he was the villain. I was like, wow. Ridiculous decision. All right, I got to... What do I look for when I watch an anime? Where's MJ? MJ still is just snoozing it up. MJ's still snoozing it over here. Um, I don't know. It's a good question. Good stories. I like uh, I like supernatural kind of stuff. I really wish I could like. I really wish I could watch Death Note again for the first time. I watched Death Note way late because I thought it was going to be bad, but oh my God, it was so good. I loved the mystery element. I think it had a really neat uh, just base concept. Full Metal Alchemist is great. Great story on that one. I've not played the game Family Man, no. Made in Abyss, I don't think I've heard of. Made in Abyss. No, I don't know this one. Thanks so much, Steve. What's the what's its deal? What's what's made in Abyss's deal? Uh, like, give me the elevator pitch. Sell it to me in a in a couple sentences. It's about a weird giant hole that people die when they go in. Very violent and about little kids. See, that's a, that's definitely a point against... I really don't... I don't like media about... like If it's about kids, it's like strike one for me. I, I'm old. Like I don't want to be watching a bunch of little kids <laughs> running around, really. I'll watch a trailer. Surprisingly non annoying. We'll see. Send me, Ben, send me a trailer. Find me the best uh, Made in Abyss trailer and send it my way. tried getting into reading manga i've read some i'm about to read uh once the weather gets a little bit better and i can sit outside i want to read was it Yu-Gi-Oh r the manga that uh ben sent to me the the extra Yu-Gi-Oh chapter that i had no idea existed Yu-Gi-Oh racing uh that would be amazing if that's what they did i haven't read it so maybe that is what they do I've seen the Future Diary anime. Um, that's, uh, I thought that one was okay. I liked the concept. It was at least interesting to watch. I can't say that it was like amazing, but it was pretty fun.
I like sto- I said it earlier this stream, but I like stories about games. I like when a, a game of some sort is involved. I've seen Devilman Crybaby. Yeah, I didn't love that one. I have not seen Berserk. Not seen Sword Out Art Online. People people say that Sword Art Online is not good, is what I've heard. And I still haven't finished consuming all of Dot Hack yet, so there's real no real reason to, you know, hop on over to Sword Art. <laughs> These things fall so fast. Oh my god. I'm liking uh uh what's the the Netflix uh gambling sexy gambling <laughs> anime? I like that one. Because all the little games, they're always playing some kind of game. Kakegururi, that's it. Kakegururi. Kake, I can't say it right. Uh, but that one's pretty fun. I also ended up liking Food Wars. Food Wars started out like maybe a little too like comically sexual at first but then it, it kind of like chills and turns into a pretty uh, a pretty good story fuck fart this game dude After School Dice Club? I'm going to write that down. Never heard of this one before. Is it good? What's its, like, what's its deal? What's, the genre is a uh, Iyashi Aikiai. Definitely know what that is. Subgenre of slice of life portraying characters living out peaceful lives in calming environments and is tended to have a healing effect on the audience. Um, probably not going to watch that one. <laughs> No, no offense. Not my not my genre. Wholesome. Yeah, I was going to say is it like a wholesome thing? That's another there's if there's children in it, that's a strike. If people describe it as wholesome, that's a strike. <laughs> Dice of life. That's pretty good. Come on. Slice of Life's are your favorite types of anime. So I have not recommended anything in here. <laughs> Just not for me. Oof. That count? Oh, give me 15. Yu-Gi-Oh! is a nice slice of life anime. I like that's probably the only slice of life anime that I like. Yeah, I like uh I like things with a little more uh intrigue. Oh, 
Oh man, I need to watch Paranoia Agent again. That's another good one I like. I don't know, Monster. There's a ticket machine in this one. I've not seen School Days, no. Ooh, I have not seen Odd Taxi yet, but um, I do want to. That one got a dub, right? That was when people were like, they'll never dub this one. They'll never dub this one. It won't translate. And then they did a dub for it. Where the fuck is the... I want to get a cinnamon roll. Oh. Dub is pretty decent considering all the wordplay. I'll give it a watch. Where is the odd taxi dub? Like, where do I watch that? There we go. Oh. No Blu ray, Crunchy Roll, or Torrents. I definitely do not have Crunchy Roll. I've not torrented anything in I don't know how many years, but you know, it's always an option. Not heard of Delicious Dungeon before. Boom, 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 boom. Ed, Ed, and Eddie. I was watching some Ed, Ed, and Eddie recently, actually. I just, that just turned into watching Workaholics. Uh, but I do love Ed, Ed, and Eddie. <laughs> Were the FLCL sequels bad? I thought people liked the FLCL sequels. To be fair, I barely, like, I don't really remember the story of FLCL. I, I have, like, flashes of uh, memories of it. They were bad? Okay. You know what was great? Uh, the live-action Death Note movie was just fantastic. I could not stop laughing. Just just a great piece of media. See ya, Allie. They're coming out with more sequels, like to the Death Note? To the Netflix Death Note movie? Yes, yeah, so bad it's good. Oh, it's awful. Uh, it's definitely something that you have to like, you should watch Death Note, the anime first, so you can really understand just how bad it is. But oh my God, hilarious. Yes, Katie, I did make a, uh, I made a video about this game a while back. You watch the live action Death Note first? I don't know that I would recommend that. I don't know. It, it, it's so different from the anime that it might not matter. I loved the anime though. Well, I loved the movie too, just for just for different reasons.
And it takes place in uh, Seattle, which was great for me. A uh, really great uh, finale scene. That was just great. Just great. You love Ed and Eddie and your girlfriend hates it. I know she'll be watching this VOD, so maybe you can convince her to change her mind. Oh, I don't know. If she doesn't like it, she does. She should give Workaholics a try. You should both watch Workaholics together instead. Think of it as future Ed, Ed, and Eddie. They grow up and become the Workaholics trio. Sunny's pretty good. Sunny's pretty good. I. It's had some stinkers lately. And I, I don't really think they're as funny as they used to be, but it's still they still put out some solid episodes for sure. Who's my favorite Edward? Like from Ed, Ed, and Eddie or just in general? I mean, Double D would probably be the, the choice... For best Ed, Ed, and Eddie, Ed. Overall, I don't know. <laughs> oh, Trailer Park Boys is great. Trailer Park Boys is another. It's almost kind of like Ed, Ed, and Eddie. Uh, but they're way older and live in a trailer park dealing drugs. That's great. It's weird that they're... I mean, I don't blame them. It's weird that they're making more Trailer Park Boys. I wonder how it's going to go without Leahy, but, you know, we'll see. Can't get into those kind of shows because you know people like that in real life. That makes sense. I guess if a show reminded me uh, too much of people I already knew in a bad way, I could see that getting in the way. Yeah, Leahy is like maybe the best character in the whole show. I don't, I don't really know how it's going to work without him. Like, how do you have Randy without Leahy? Like, I don't know. We'll see. Randy will have to wear his shirt now. All right, friends, I think I'm going to wind it down for today. I've got some video to edit. But uh, thanks for hanging out with me today. This was a fun little coin game. Just a little, uh, I wanted to stream and I didn't have any plans. So I just wanted to get on with something chill. I think next time I stream, we're going to do something with a bit more substance. Probably not something scary next, but I will be doing more scary things. So, you know, get get ready for that. All of my money in Streamlabs turned to euros. Uncle Phil, thank you for the prime sub. And thank you for the bits. Uh, Garglev. All right, guys. How do I get out of the game? Do I have to get off of the bike? Okay, I'm going to try and be back sooner rather than later. Uh, it was a little later. Uh, this little gap was a bit longer this time because if I had to finish that video, I got, I got a little stuck editing. But thanks for watching. I had a great time. And uh, I'm going to see you guys soon. All right. Oh yeah, thank you very thank you for watching my video too. Uh, thanks for everyone who watched my video. Uh, I'm really happy with it, and I'm glad you guys uh, seem to seem to like it. So, thanks very much. I'll be back with more streams soon and more videos eventually. Have a great rest of your Thursday. Bye bye. And now, folks, it's time to say goodnight. 
We sincerely appreciate your patronage and hope we've succeeded in bringing you an enjoyable evening of entertainment. Please drive home carefully and come back again soon. Good night.